Hey guys, it's Michael from My Count Beans. The purpose of this playlist is to help you, the small business owner, do your own bookkeeping in zero. If you like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Okay guys, now the first step in creating a pay run is to go up to the payroll menu and click pay employees. Step two, we wanna click on add a pay run. We wanna select the calendar. In this example, it's gonna be the weekly calendar and then you want to click next. So let's now click on one of the employees. We'll start with fast and loose. What you want to do is you want to review the details you have here, make sure that the leaves are accruing correctly, the soup is accruing correctly, and you've got the annual salary correct. Once done, click save and next. And you just follow the process for each employee. Once you've confirmed they're all correct, you just click save and now what we can do is we can click back up on the wages here okay now we've confirmed that all the details are correct what we're going to do now is we're going to click post pay run post now what we want to do that we finalize the pay run is we want to generate the reports to be able to pay the staff so click on Viewports Bank Payments Report. Okay, you can see in the Bank Payments Report here, we've got our three employees and their associated bank details. So what we're gonna do now is pay these net amounts over here on the right, adding up to 368954, directly from our banking account to the employees. Alternatively, we can use an ABA file. To run an ABA file to pay your staff, you need to have first set up the ABA file preferences with your bank and zero. To actually get the file, click on Parent Options, ABA file. That then generates an ABA file, as you can see at the top of my screen, which you would then upload to your internet banking, which will then automatically pay these three employees. For small businesses, we don't suggest using ABA files. It's easy enough to just do three EFT transfers. And in most internet banking, you can set up a schedule where these are set up each week. Next step, once we've actually physically paid our employees, we want to come in here and click pay run options, email pay slips, and then we can email the pay slips directly from zero. Okay, guys, now we've finally finished our pay run. We've created the pay run, we've physically paid the staff through the internet banking, we've emailed the pay slips. The final step is to file through STP payroll. Now you would have had to set this up. Please see Xero's guidelines for setting up STP payroll, but if you did have it set up, you just click file here and that would file it through this process. As you can see here, you would get a bit of a decoration and then you click submit. Okay guys, the final step in the process is to reconcile the money that's come out of the bank. What you'll notice here is we have a wages payable balance of 3689.54 on the balance sheet. And that is the journal here for the wages. So when the money comes out of the bank, we need to offset that account. So as you can see, we have the three wages that have come out of the bank here, which is for our three staff. What we need to do, is we can either just use wages or you can use the employee name here, whatever you prefer. And then you want to click wages payroll. And then we want to put the week ending. So wages here, week ending and the 21st of May, 2025. Copy that. And then you want to do the same again for these three. And it's zeros are automatically remember that. So we can take there and there. And then when we refresh our balance sheet, Watch what happens to the balance here. As you can see guys, there's no longer a balance for wages payable because we've reconciled that. Hey everyone, so that's the end of this process. We've created the new pay run, we've reviewed and edited the employee pay slips, we posted the pay run, we've then paid the employees, we've emailed the pay slips, we've discussed lodging the single touch payroll, of course this is a demo, so it's not officially filed as can be seen on the screen. And then finally, we've reconciled the actual physical payment against the balance sheet liability. 
So guys, that's the whole video. We hope this was helpful. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this playlist. If your business is growing and you're finding it's too difficult to do your own bookkeeping, it's time to call an accountant. We'll leave our website in the link in the description below and we'll have a chat and see if we help you out.